Turn the flashlight on. It's me. Welcome to the Grimsman channel. My name is Adam. We are a grooming collective John, of five like-minded people who enjoy shaving and looking our best and smelling good and all that shit. So, hi. Uh, I got some new swag. Just got back from being in the Detroit area for the weekend. Got a fresh-ish haircut from last week. Um, need a shave. Gonna get cleaned up and be back and talk about what's been going on. What's up, y'all? All right, so we're back. Um, as you can see, I did not shave on the trip at all. I always go prepared to shave, but I, various reasons. Two children, one wife, one hotel room. Um, not really a recipe for, and, in this hotel room, it's the second time we sit at a Hyatt, and they, for some reason, the toilet and the shower are in one space with the door, and then the sink in, like, the main, you know, uh, vanity and everything. Uh, there's no counter space in the actual room where the shower is, so there's a door, and then in the main hotel room is where the vanity is, and, you know, she's just out in the open. So I'm trying to film a video, especially if I decided to, which is always the goal or all the boys are just screeching, running around, or having it be taken down because Disney, there's a Disney show playing in the background to keep them steady and everything. Yeah, not gonna happen. But I did have one fun excursion that was shaving related. My dad and I actually got to go Saturday morning to the Razor Company in Kiko Harbor, Michigan, which was only about 20 minutes away from where we were staying. Uh, we took the kids to Legoland, and uh, Sea Life Aquarium in, in Auburn Hills. Speaking of which, I think I hear one on his way in. Did it bother me while I'm doing this? Well, maybe not. And yeah, so that was, they had a good time. Um, and yeah, so I got to go to the Razor Company. Now I do have some purchases from the Razor Company that I'm not gonna feature in this video. I'm waiting, I wanna talk to Jason to see if he's cool with me using some footage I took, some pictures that I have from my time in there, because he wasn't there Saturday morning, but I got to meet his crew and they were very nice. And of course I've forgotten their names. And I got to run into a fellow wet shaver as well. Then I'll talk about him more during the Razor Company video. I'm gonna do the video either way, it's just a question of whether I shall be using the footage from that day or not. There's nothing, there's no people in it or anything, it's just pictures and videos of you know, outside and like the shelves and everything and how everything looks and it was, it was great but I'm not gonna talk any more about them other than to say that today I am using Mars from Shannon Soaps and the Razor Company. Summer is fleeting so I wanted to get my uh, Chanel Allure type scents on. I have a Chanel Allure Sport, um, Chanel Allure Ohm Sport scented pomade in my hair right now and I'm using the soap that's Chanel Allure. Ohm. Ohm sport or just Ohm? I think it's just Ohm. And yeah. And then I'm using my Missoni Way, which is like a combination of Versace Poor Ohm, Poor Ohm, sorry. Um, which is great. I smelled that when I was at Perfumania in Auburn Hills and that's a great scent that I'm actually gonna have to pick up. And uh, Chanel or Ohm. It's like they had a baby, it would be Missoni Wave and currently Missoni Wave is very affordable. You should check it out. But anyways, I've been lathering this up as we've been talking. Shannon Soaps is one of my favorites. And I'm gonna be using an old reliable razor here today, so I'm gonna get lathered up and I'll be back and we'll get the actual shave going. All right, so I'm, I am gonna use 
one thing for my purchases at the razor company because it's the only place you can get them and i might be the only groomsman who hasn't used them i think they're currently john's favorite blade it's the uh made in german schick de's the triple coated stainless steel ones he uses these a lot they're hard to get a hold of uh to my knowledge the only place in the states where you can get them is the razor company i think you have to find someone outside of the states in like the lower or the lower the like southern hemisphere in general <laughs> so if you know someone there you go but i'm gonna load it up in the 6s on six like i said i don't think i've shaved since thursday night so i want something reliable uh so and i, and I want to test this blade so i'm using a reliable razor so let's see if they're as good as sean says they are First of four or five orientation sessions with our school tomorrow. So John, if this messes my face up, we're not friends anymore. So channel mates, not friends. Frenemies at best. Most days I feel like John, JD, and I are mostly frenemies anyways. Lovingly. Oh no, there's dissension amongst the ranks in the Grimsman. So far, so good. I don't hate it. Obviously, I'm getting some pull because of how much growth I have. But nice and smooth so far. I don't know why I always decide to wear some black t-shirt when I do this. So let's talk about the trip. Other than, you know, the other stuff we talked about. So uh, Legoland was overwhelming. For me, uh, sensory overload. I didn't hate it. There's just loud. There's people there. My, I used to be okay in going to loud, like pretty good, actually, really good, actually going to loud places when I only had to worry about like my own self and then like my wife. I like I got used to that, but now with children, especially two children with different ages, that are always everywhere. My, and then all that going on, I'm just trying to focus in on them, and it's just like hell for me, which. I still took them, so. But I really enjoy the aquarium. I find that very soothing. Even though it was still busy in there, the water is going, the, you know, lights are kind of low most of the time, and the fish are swimming and everything else. I could have just stood under the walkway where they uh, fish swim over and they're all around you. I could have stood there all day comfortably, I think. Very soothing. So that was a nice way to end the trip. We did that and then we jumped in the car and drove home where I was going to watch the last Lions preseason game that I was recording on Hulu Live, only didn't record, which is fine because it's whatever, it's preseason. I don't, with the school year starting, I don't anticipate missing any of the Sunday games. Anyways, that's when I like to do a little bit of work as well so I can justify <laughs> sitting and watching football for eight hours, right? One day a week. But yeah. We were just about an hour from home. We were turning off of the freeway in the Cadillac area in Wexford County, and we got dumped on by some of that rain that I think has been affecting the people in M Mississippi and I think Missouri maybe even with just flooding. Where I live in Michigan, we, we can get flooding. Uh, not in my house, I live up on a hill. When you get downtown, it's a little, it's kind of below sea level. So they can, sometimes like downtown, there'll be streets that flood where the storm drains are just overfilled, but in my from predominantly in my area and I'm going to give a story hold on in my area and where I live my house is I don't have to worry about flash flooding I was actually working at the hospital worked in healthcare for a good 11 years or so 
here at the local hospital. And I can't remember if it was the year I left or the year before, but um, we had so much rain that it actually um, flooded the ground level of the hospital. It came in the back door where I was working, down the stairs. That storm drain had, had um, been um, taxed already. And then we got like just as much torrential rain. Like, I don't remember how many inches it was, but it was close to like two feet in rain, I feel like. And so the water went into the hospital and basically everything on the ground floor to a certain point, because there's a certain point where things kind of go back up and they're able to like keep it going. But the, basically it's a perfect storm. Water comes in, comes in. There's a ramp that leads into the main hospital from the building I was working in. So like the ground floor, like outpatient procedure room where they did like colonoscopies and EGDs got flooded. The cafeteria got flooded. Parking lot in the back got flooded. You know, people were like, the water was like up to the door level in the parking lot. So we do get that, but it just doesn't affect where I have my house is. So power me for a second. I think I heard a knock on the door. Looks like my days of hybrid daddy daycare. I hate that term. My son finished kindergarten at home, but we went and visited his new school before we left for our trip. And he, had a, he really liked it, so hopefully he'll get to actually go to school and get an actual education and not just, you know, watch videos of me and hope for the best. But yeah. Guess this is a big wax poetic video, sorry. It's been a while, you haven't seen me in a while. What's been going on with you guys? What's up? I like these blades. Do I like them better than any other blade that I have an easier time procuring? Maybe not. Probably not. But I'm glad I picked up a pack. So yeah, if you want to check these chick blades out, Razor Company is your best bet right now. Um. They get them in and they go fast. So get them when you can, I guess. Just like something else that they have exclusively there, well, not quite exclusively there, that we'll talk about in the next video that I happened to order ahead of time. So I had a double reason. I thought I made an order. I gotta go. I gotta go to the razor company. I, already, I bought something. I didn't have to use that. She was actually really cool with it. In fact, my wife. as many wives I'm sure do, kind of made the trip about everybody else and didn't really get to do anything. Fun for herself? I That's not how I planned it. I don't know, it was about the kids. I just happened to be 20 minutes away from the place I wanted to go. And my dad wanted to go and my mom stepped in and you know, my mom was with her. So it wasn't like I left here with just both boys. My mom was there to go shopping with them and everything. My dad and I joined up later and then we went to Legoland. But the boys had a good time. I'll have to make it up to her though. Apparently I'm just doing whatever I feel like doing on this pass. That's what happens when you kind of burned out. <laughs> and you're already meander your way through your videos at the best of times. And then you, you know, come back. I really didn't talk about, all right? Oh, if you're a Great Lakes person, I think the guy from Denton, Magique or whatever soaps, there's a Great Lakes wet shavers group that just got started. You know, we needed another shave group, but it's good networking, especially when you, if you think about if Maggards gets back to doing their meetups and stuff, it'd be nice to kind of 
and how much of the people that are likely to go to it. Which I'd like to go if they do it again. All right, let me rinse off and we'll do a quick post. And button things up. Got the matching splash, of course. Oh, oh I oped. If you're in the Midwest, you know what I'm talking about. And if you're not, that's our word. You can't be saved. Oh, there goes gravity. Just had one of those moments with the Rockwell head, unfortunately, but it landed on the plush mat I'm standing on. Um, but yeah, always love using that scent. I have not used any of the other Shannon soaps products or bases, but I really do enjoy using the base, the Chupacabra base. I think it lathers very easily. I think it is nice and uh, cushiony and slick. Um, I think it's a good one. You could do a lot worse, that's for sure. And then the scent, of course, of the soap is very enjoyable. The splash, it gets there in the dry down. Uh, this is a witch hazel base. Right? Yeah. Alcohol free witch hazel, water, fragrance, glycerin. So, not a bunch of skin food, but that's okay. Not everything has to have a bunch of skin food in it necessarily. And if you need that, if you know you need that, then you need that, and that's fine too. Well, the scent does get there after the dry down, or it doesn't have to dry down, after the initial scent goes away a little bit. It can be a little sour at times, but not, it's not sour. And you know, it can be speed, it doesn't quite smell like the soap right off the get. It's gotta get there, but a lot of places that have alcohol in them, you get that alcohol scent that's gotta go away first. Sterling, I'm looking at you, obviously, your, your, your uh, aftershaves get there, but that alcohol has gotta burn off, scent's gotta burn off first, so. It'll get there and it'll go really well with my Missoni Wave over here. I'm about halfway done with. Should be less actually, but it's not. A little goes a long way too. It's good performance on that, but this isn't a review of that anyways. So, oh reliable for a reason. Feeling back to normal. Looking forward to using some other stuff. The blade was good. Schick German, hard to find. I mean, I still don't know that I want to go out and, and buy a hundred of them when I have working through blades I still have, obviously. I had to use a Dorco Titan in a bit. I got to do that. I got to do that. But I've been really into the Viking Sword as well. I picked up a pack of those. I keep spoiling my video. I picked up a pack of those from the place that should not be named um, as well. I was there. And yeah, so that's the video. Um, you're not gonna be seeing a ton of me right now. It's our busy time of year, not just with the school year starting, but with the beginning of the school year, and then we have count. So I'm gonna try to make sure I'm gonna be doing try to doing some different content for me, but I'm gonna be trying to make sure that the content that I'm giving you is good. I'm not gonna just film something and be like, well, that's crap, and then upload it. I've done that in the past, but I don't want to do that. We have five people on this channel. I shouldn't have to do that, but. Thank you guys again for checking us out. This is the Grimsman, and we'll catch you next time.